Turn the music off please Jody. It's nearly time to call him up. Remember to sound interested and ask him questions. Yes, Daddy. Your great granddad has lots of good stories about Skegness and the war. I just want to ask him about one thing. I know, but he might digress onto other stuff knowing him. I mean, he might talk about other things, so you'll just have to bear with him. Okay. He told me once he was in the cinema with his sister when the whole building was rocked from a bomb. The Germans would often drop any they still had on the coastal towns as they made their way back home. Then there was a time when he was playing football with some of his friends. They heard a low-flying plane and stopped and stared as if mesmerised by it. He said it was obviously an enemy plane as they could see the black crosses and even the front gunner. Then a bomb dropped out and they heard machine gun fire coming towards them, so they ran for their lives towards the small ditch by the hedge at the side of the field. Daddy! Sorry, I'll, I'll FaceTime him now. It's just that those stories really stuck with me when he told me. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Christopher. How are you doing? Have you got enough food in? Yes, the neighbours have been ever so kind. They do a shop for me, so I have plenty of meals. I don't need much. Are you watching anything on the telly? No, I prefer listening to the radio. Or reading. And yes, I can still remember how to download them onto the tablet. We just worry about you being on your own. I've got plenty of things to keep me going, so I'm not lonely. I've been on my own for long enough, as was my mum after the war. Although she had me and Doris. What do you make of what's happening now? It's terrible with all the lives that have been lost. But we've not had to face something like this as a country for a very long time. Jodie's got something to ask you, haven't you, love? Hello, Great Gramps. My, that makes me feel old, though I suppose I am. How are you coping with the lockdown? It's not such a hardship. I've lived through worse. Your dad said you wanted to ask me about something. I'll leave you to it. I'm doing a project about the war. We're about to do it at school, but Daddy suggested I do it anyway and talk to you about it. What is it? It's about the Battle of Britain. Daddy said you saw some of it in Skegness and your sister was involved too. Daddy found an article about it. But he said I should talk to someone who was there. That was a long time ago. What would you like to know? Can I go out and play, Mum? Please. Go on, then. But don't be too long. No, I won't. Don't you want to go out, too? No. I'll stay here and keep you company. Billy will be all right. I hope so. I know we don't have it bad here, but I still can't help worrying about you all. I know. I wish I was doing what Millie is. You're not going anywhere until you're old enough. Hopefully it'll all be over by then. I wonder if she is from John. I shouldn't expect so at the moment. Well, if you're staying here, you can help me with some baking. Have you seen Anna at all? No. Well, maybe you should. Well, she's strange. Well, she's a refugee from Holland. I should think she's lonely. At least Elsie's fun to be with. Even if she does have a strange accent too. But she's from London. Well, she thinks Skegness is peculiar. <laughs> I expect you'd find London peculiar if you went there. RAF Digby. Group HQ, Watnall. Observer Corps have now spotted hostiles crossing the coast of Norfolk. I repeat, enemy aircraft have been detected crossing the Norfolk coast. Some appear to be heading north up the coast. Understood. Sir, that was Watnall. Observer Corps reports that hostiles have been spotted crossing into Norfolk with some heading north, probably to Hull. We only have 611 Squadron available. Scramble A flight. Yes, sir. Roger that, Aurora. Proceeding to 14,000 feet. Conga leader out. Don't you wish you were flying splits, Fred? Yeah, I'd love to be giving Jerry what for. We never see anything here, though. 
asked John what it was like once. What did he say? He didn't want to talk about it. Is he in your system really... What's the word? Courting, they call it. Yuck, I wouldn't want to kiss a girl. Neither would I. What does Millie do? She's with the WAF and operates the radar. Everyone else is doing something exciting and we're stuck here with nothing to do. Come on, let's pretend to be Spitfires. What no? Enemy aircraft have been picked up here. Thank you. Keep you safe, John, if you're up there. Digby. What no here? Hostiles reported by Ingemels. And Observer Corps have more bandits heading your way up the coast. Thank you. Sir, what no have reports of more hostiles coming our way? It looks like Jerry's going to keep us busy this afternoon. Scramble B flight. Yes, sir. Those are Spitfires overhead. They're heading for the seafront. What if John's in one of them? Do you want me to see if I can find Billy? No, I don't want you both out there. Mind you, if anything happens to him, I'll never forgive myself. Well, he'll come straight back when he sees him. <sighs> He'd better do. I hope Mildred isn't scared. She'll be right under it. And don't worry about your sister. She'll be too busy to be scared. Conga leader 12, bandits below. Out. They're German Dornier bombers. Are you sure? Yeah. John told me what they look like. Hey, come on, Spitfires. Looks like most of the towns come to watch. Come on, boys. Give Jerry what for. There's more coming. Come down the coast. And more Spitfires are arriving. There's going to be a dogfight over Skegness. Leader to all. Well done, boys. Looks like Jerry's had enough. I've sustained some damage, but I'll nurse her back. Out. I'll see you soon, Millie. Four hostiles destroyed, sir. Damage to seven of ours, but no losses. Very good. Carry on. Yes, sir. Digby. Inglemouth. Has. Can I, can I ask you? We if... have no reports of losses, Mildred. Oh, thank you. Now get back to your work. Yes, sir. Where is he? Oh, I'm going to clip his ear when he gets back. The Spitfires are flying back. It must be over. Billy! Oh, where have you been? I've been so worried about you. Sorry, Mum. I couldn't take my eyes off it. We gave Jerry a good walloping. We saw a dawn you shot down. It crashed into the sea. You shouldn't be watching such things at your age. There's still young men who won't be going back to their families. What about our boys? None of ours went down. Oh, well, thank God for that. If John was up there, he should be safe. I wish I was old enough to be up there giving Jerry what for. This'll all be over long before you might be needed. I just hope what you saw today don't give you nightmares. It won't. <laughs> Daddy? Oh, what is it, Jodie? It's Great Gramps. Oh, are you okay, Grandad? Yes. It's just that talking to Jodie has brought back quite a few memories. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandad. We didn't mean to... My sister Millie was engaged to John, but they never got married. He was shot down later that year as the Battle of Britain went on. That's sad. I'm sorry if I upset you, Jodie. No, she's okay, aren't you, Jodie? We're sorry to have upset you, though. I was just a boy then. Watching them fight over Skegness, I thought it was the most exciting thing I'd ever seen. But war isn't exciting. It's full of selfless sacrifice and heroism. I'm sorry. You don't want a lecture from an old man. But Great Anne Mildred did get married, Jodie. She did. And she had a wonderful life, but she never forgot John. And we should never forget any of them and what they did. Well, you take care of yourself during the lockdown and we'll hopefully see you soon once it's all over, won't we, Jodie? Yes, and I can show you my project. <laughs> that would be lovely. 
You know, after that skirmish in 1940, we became used to seeing lots of our bombers crossing the coast at night. But then in June 1944, the sky was full of them endlessly going over, it seemed. It was the beginning of the D-Day landings, the end of Hitler and his Nazis. This disease is like that. What do you mean? Every bad thing that happens has its D-Day, and this will too. It's an invasion that's doing its best to destroy us and our way of life, but it won't. Look at how people tried to make this country a better place for everyone after the war ended. We just have to tap back into that British bulldog spirit that's still there and shows itself when the chips are down. In Skirmish Over Skegness by Benjamin Peel, Christopher was played by Jack Pudsey, Old Billy by Edward Peel, Ruth by Sarah Beasley, John by Daniel Blaco, Mildred by Lucy Sherry Cooper, Doris by Katie Leonard, Officer One by John Hewer, Officer Two by Andy Evans, Officer Three Stacy Goff, Young Billy by Daniel Snell, Fred by Thomas Newdall, and Jody by Zara Pudsey. Audio production by Jack Pudsey, directed by Sarah Beasley. Produced for Sofa Festival 2020 by Sarah Beasley and Jack Pudsey for Breakwater Theatre Company. Mm-hmm.